I feel betrayed by Obaseki, Philip Shaibu says, for the 2024 governorship election. <laughs> Can you imagine? We are just talking about uh, Michael Gadome holding meeting with uh, uh, donors in uh, people, uh, you know, try to endorse uh, Aswe Iwadalo. Now, Philip Shaibu said that meeting was null and void because he's the political leader in that area. Now, another one has happened again. He's saying that he feels betrayed by Basaki for not supporting his ambition. Yeah, Basaki said he has forgiven him, but I know that politicians' forgiveness is verbal, just in lip service. And just like I was saying initially, that Obaseki would definitely support someone else and uh, himself will be on his own. <laughs> now, wow. But well, let's get into the details. The Deputy Governor of Fedo State, Philip Shaibu, said he feels betrayed um, for his principal, Godin Obaseki, not supporting his 2024 governorship bid. Shaibu stated this in an interview on Arise Television on Wednesday. So he said, I feel betrayed by the governor. I feel very betrayed. When we go to church, there are certain biblical verses that are becoming uh, to make meaning to me. There is this particular verse that has been going uh, through my mind. The heart of a man is desperately wicked. So when I see what the governor is doing, the verse now makes meaning to me, he added. <laughs> Quarry will start again now. So you are saying that the basic is very wicked. That is what you are saying. <laughs> Claiming that he was persuaded to be the deputy governor to Obaseki, Shaibu said he added value to Obaseki's government with political structure and finances. He said, actually, I was persuaded and there was no protest. I actually didn't want to be a deputy governor. I was very comfortable in the House of Representatives. It took almost one month to get me to accept to be the deputy governor of federal state. Actually, I was persuaded and there was no protest. I actually didn't want to be a deputy governor. I was very comfortable. Okay, in the House of Representatives, it took almost one month to get me to accept to be the deputy governor of the state. I accepted to add value to the ticket of Obaseki because Obaseki was not known and he was not one of the politicians. They needed a young, vibrant politician that had won election before and that can add value okay to the ticket so the people democratic party governorship aspirant said he was hot that obaseki was supporting an outsider instead of him shaibu further stated i added value in terms of my political structure my finances all the vehicles that were used to campaign in 2016 are mine uh, i lost about 20 percent of my political capital in those state to support Godwin Obaseki and in supporting him even as deputy governor. I supported the second term bid of the governor with my finances, okay, including how we got the ticket of the PDP. So I contributed fin uh, financially both in Naira and in dollars. If I say betrayal, it is an understatement. I feel very hot and betrayed. Recall that Shaibu, who came from a do not Senatorial district, the same district as the ex governor of the state, Adato Shumele, has been at loggerheads with Obaseki over his political ambition. Shaibu had earlier asked an Abuja High Court to stop Obaseki and members of the State House of Assembly from impeaching him at the peak of the dispute by the later uh, withdrew uh, by, okay, dispute but he later withdrew the case. So a do deputy governor made a formal announcement expressing a desire to compete the People Democratic Party's uh, ticket in the party primaries in November 2023. So as your deputy governor in the last seven years, I have had the privilege of working closely with our amiable governor, God Nobasaki. To lay a solid foundation for the progress in Edo State, Shaibu stated this during his announcement. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission announced that the Edo governorship election will be held on September 21, 2024. <laughs> Can you imagine? So what is happening now is that he's feeling suddenly betrayed, that the governor is not supporting him. 
and it's referring to a scripture that said the heart of man is desperately wicked meaning that the heart of obaseki is obviously and desperately wicked hmm. who can know it <laughs> so he's feeling so hot he said he's feeling so hot so disappointed that obaseki after he has supported him now he went ahead to recount how in 2016 um he supported obaseki uh, with his resources to both with his time with his political connection political capital and finances to add value to Obasaki's uh, ticket and when Obasaki was coming for second uh, uh, second tenor to get his second second uh, second tenor bid he also supported Obasaki in campaign and with his money and with his resources now what is Obasaki paying him back with without you know Obasaki's pay Paying back with betrayer, not supporting his own governorship bid as well. That he was comfortable being a member of the House of Representatives, that it took months to beg him to come down and leave that role uh, to be able to support uh, Obasaki. Because they said they needed somebody who had won election before, who is on ground, who understands the political terrain of the state, um, which Obasaki did not know. Understand? So he had to help Obasaki you know to build all of that and now basaki is paying back in a different way that this is actually not acceptable for him he feel very hot he feel very betrayed so but how is he going to do it because the betrayer is going to be multiple sides even in a do not he cannot run back to shomale again because he fought with shomale because of basaki now that's why shomale said this time around he's very careful he's not going to put his hand to support anybody because he did that before and his hand got burnt okay he got uh, uh, you know all forms of uh, uh, lashes from people uh, from people he supported especially of Baseki and this shaibu of a person okay so with this now um uh, shaibu is not going to get the support of Oshomole this time around and coupled with that, Michael Gadome, who is also from the same senatorial district, has gone to hold meeting with other political PDP stalwart in the do not and now with that of Shaibu's uh, uh, you know, awareness. And Shaibu is saying that that meeting is null and void because he is the leader of uh, PDP in a do not okay, as a deputy governor. Then in the entire state, he is the deputy PDP leader as a deputy governor of the state as well. So, but with all of this, we are seeing that Oshomole is not going to support Shaibu, Obasaki is not going to support Shaibu, former deputy governor to um, Lockheed Benedio, Michael Gadome, is also not going to support Philip Shaibu. So, where then is Philip Shaibu's uh, political base? He is lost. He's not going to be found anywhere, I'm pretty sure. So, with this, he's saying it's hot, and I'm sure he's hot. And originally he had a quarrel with Obasaki about this matter, and Obasaki suspended him, and uh, you know sidelined him, and even asked him uh, his office to be removed from the government house uh, uh, in a in a in a do state and gave him somewhere else. But at the end of the day, he went and begged Obasaki forgave him and they reconciled. But now the reconciliation is proving to be a lip service because Obasaki is still going ahead to do what he wants to do, support whoever he wants to support and not supporting uh, Philip Shaibu. So now Philip Shaibu is feeling heavily hot and heavily betrayed, but what can he do? He has to continue to go and try his popularity and see how much he can get for himself. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment from this Philip Shaibu's uh, statement.